Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to install the image transmission to the Jirion Crane 3S. This is the image transmitter. So this is the content of the package. Tools and screws and plates to install this image transmitter to your Jirion Crane 3S gimbal. But, and another way to mount it, but we don't need that yet. In addition to that, we will have three types of cables. First one is the control cable that connects the Jirion Crane 3S gimbal to your image transmitter. Then, it also needs to be forwarded connected to the camera. So here we have a bunch of different types of camera connection cables. You can control the aperture, the shutter speed, the ISO, and also start and stop. Lastly, video signal cables. We'll unlock the tilt axis and put it right up. Here you will see indicator marks which are perfect. Just align them and take two screws. Do remember that this way the axis doesn't lock. So if you attach it, be very careful. Try to also not to over tighten them because these screws are very small and fragile. Just make sure it sits pretty tight and this should be fine. All right, now we got a quick release plate installed. Now we can take the image transmitter. We slide it in here. First, we're gonna make sure that the Jirin Cranes 3S gimbal can talk to this image transmitter. We're gonna use this cable that I've demonstrated before. We're going to connect the USB Type-C end to this camera control port. And the other end, we will connect to the image transmitter like so. Now today we're going to demonstrate it with a GH5S camera. So we'll put that on too. I'm going to pull out this just for demonstration purposes. First we want to make sure that the camera can send its parameter controls through the image transmitter to the gimbal. A USB 3 to USB Type-C, mostly used for like Panasonic cameras like GH5S. Then we got USB 3 to micro USB. We got USB 3 to Sony multiport. This is mostly for Sony cameras like Sony a7 III. Then we got USB 2 to mini USB. Mostly used for like especially older Canon DSLRs like 5D Mark II. So let's use this cable, the USB 3 to USB Type-C cable, which is designed for this GH5. We'll take the USB 3 end, connect it here, and take the USB Type-C end and connect it here. And now let's get the video signal cable on there. So here we have a mini HDMI to mini HDMI. Then we got micro HDMI to mini HDMI. And we got mini HDMI to full size HDMI. So let's use this cable. The mini HDMI goes to image transmitter, and the full size HDMI goes to the camera. Put the antennas like this. Now make sure to balance your gimbal again after you have attached all the accessories here. We'll first turn on the gimbal, then we'll turn on the image transmitter, very important, and also turn on our camera. Now depending on camera, it will be different every time, but for the GH5S, this will pop up, and we will select PC Tether. It's very important that we go into Menu, Camera, and select CCS, otherwise it won't work. We confirm. Settings that we want to adjust, like ISO, shutter speed, and Aperture, they are now all available. Okay, now let's open the app, ZY Play. So this time we don't go to the Jirion Crane 3S, but we go to the image transmission. We go for Connect Now, and then you will notice that it doesn't work. It brings you to the Settings menu, and that's because you haven't connected this through Wi-Fi yet. We will select Jirion Tech 1FD8. Now we have connected, and we go back to our ZY Play app, there we go, we are successfully connected. To see the image, press here. It works very responsively. Now the cool thing is you can also change all the settings. So here are the shutter speed, ISO, aperture, white balance, exposure. To control the camera like a joystick, use this part. Here we can see it works. Beside the modes that we already know, we have also a very cool feature called tracking mode. Just press here and drag over the object that you want to track. In this case, my hand. And now the camera will basically follow wherever my hand goes. 
Pretty awesome, right? Beside that, you can also access all the stabilizer settings and also some device calibration and information of this Juin transmitter. Now, one last thing to mention, which is very important, if you don't see the image, most likely it could be that your firmware isn't the most updated one. So definitely go back to the home page and check if it needs an update or not, because it will notify you if it needs one. So yeah, that's basically it. Next time on your shoot, your client can also watch your image. And beside that, you can also do some really crazy cool two-man operation shots, get very creative with it. And if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments.